The camping trip. The sun is going down. It's too late for today, decided Edward. Let's take a nap first. Look, Barney. Edward poured into that sky. It's the North Star, the brightest star in the sky. Wonderful, thought Barney. That's the star that sailors follow. It keeps us on course. That reminds me. Once I was lost at sea. If only the captain's cool stories weren't always so long. Bonnie and Edward were fast asleep. Early the next morning, the friends drove away. They drove past the market, turned at the fire station, curved around the windmill, then over the mountains, and finally the endless blue ocean. Here I can swim," said Bonnie. "Here I can fish," said Edward. "Here I can smell the ocean again," said the captain. All were happy. But Bonnie doesn't like to be alone on the beach, and the captain, between us, gets a bit seasick. Captain had to take a nap. As the sun went down, Barney and Edward made a boat party. The fish aren't biting today. Edward paddled a bit further. Edward, I'm scared. Cried Barney. I can see our camper. We're lost. Edward put down the fishing pole and paddled in a circle. I want to go back. Where, where? Cried Barney. It got dark. The stars came out. The little rabbit was scared. Don't be scared, Barney. I will protect you. But how? Thought Barney. Because it was dark, he didn't see Edward smiling. Look, it's the North Star. It will lead us, just like the captain. Edward paddled northward. A big wave pushed the boat onto land. The beach, Edward. We are saved. You are the best. Edward got a big kiss. Barney tried to get the fishing pole. It's too heavy. Why? Let me try. Let me pull the huge fish out of the water. What a fish! What a fish-tastic, er,、uh, fantastic day! They went to the camper and woke the captain. There you are," said Walter Walrus. Time to eat. I'm hungry. We caught a fish. You can cook it. Barney and Edward pointed at the cooking pot and laughed. It was late when Barney and Edward told the captain about their adventure on the sea. That reminds me. One time. <laughs> If only the captain's cool stories weren't always so long.